here we are with the main gold episode eight and yeah last episode we basically the may and alto basically made peace and got together again and um yeah should be happy bonding time from now on again somewhat i hope hopefully 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 and otherwise the student council kind of like took uh, uh, alto hostage because of the may being a demon and all that stuff because they were suspicious but not 100% certain and so now they want alto to become part of the student council i think so i guess he has no reason to deny right so i guess he becomes part of the student council i guess we will see how that turns out or what happens right so yeah if you like what you see leave a like subscribe or comment let me know what you think and i would say let's get to the episode Oh, executive committee committee <clears throat> the council okay yes she has always the weirdest faces right she can be very nice she could be she can be very creepy I mean, he has no reason to decline, right? Unless he doesn't want the extra responsibilities. Which would be me. More responsibilities in school life? Fuck that. I'm out. <laughs> but yeah, the student council president always is super weird, right? She's interesting because at first glance you might think like she's like dutiful, right? And maybe nice. Um, but then she has like nice faces like in this shot earlier. And then she also has like the, these very creepy faces where she had like dead death stares and all that shit, right? So she's very interesting in that regard that she has like all these weird faces going on. You can't tell what is going on with her. Maybe it turns out that she's bad. Which I wouldn't think necessarily, I think. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if she turns out bad, maybe. I, but I kind of don't think so. I think she's just troubled past or something. So I guess we have to wait for a backstory of hers. Yes. Booba. Well, because I have a demon here. <clears throat> I mean, he could tell Lilia, right? Okay. I guess that makes sense, right? <clears throat> if you beat one of the strongest that is in the council. That's true. Another step to his dream. Mm. 
but isn't Alto one of the smartest in school? So it could be hard. <clears throat> True. Yeah, she is very weird. Is that her thought? <laughs> Getting flustered. And that starts with a kiss, a mana kiss. <laughs> And give me the juice to get stronger. <laughs> oh, here's a council again. What? Nani? So is she bad? Like maybe not bad, bad, but bad against. Maybe bad because she wants to do harm to the May. Oh, God damn. Bruh. Damn, Chris is stacked. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
Why are they dressing up behind the first door? <laughs> yeah, the paper thing. Paper Golem. Okay. Maybe the main or something? <clears throat> Which squares had the bad guys again? Was it? I think it was platinum, right? These two. I think they were platinum. Oh, she maybe has it. She looks like the paper thing. Yep. Platinum. What the fuck? Hentai brain. I killed him. I don't like where this is going again. Backstory for the May. <clears throat> is Alto seeing this somehow? How?
This blonde haired girl, right? What the fuck is going on here? So, Nani, justice or destruction? <clears throat> Is that where it's going? Either he becomes the good or he becomes the bad for her? I think that would be an interesting twist, right? But I can't really see it. Because I guess he will be the good guy. I mean, maybe he uses the destruction for good. <laughs> hey, is this Sackboy on the wall? That's Sackboy on the wall. Oh my god. This lucky little bastard. Oh my god! Boy! Okay, he put the book in. Will something happen with the book? Oh, the May has her old stuff back, her old outfit. Way better. <laughs>
Oh. Yeah, will our boy here pass? I feel like he doesn't. Yeah, Max. Yeah, he seems not smart. If he passes, I'm su I'm surprised. Man, everyone has like dark uniforms and then obviously all characters stand out. Different hair colors and all that stuff. Brighter uniforms that stand out. Okay. Oh, what happens with Alto? I would imagine for Alto something amazing happens or something completely underwhelming. <laughs> Maybe Alto's mana is too crazy that something completely underwhelming is happening. <clears throat> Next episode. The moment it gets interesting. Nope. After credit scene. Nope. Okay, that was the episode. Let me know what you think. But yeah, more like a quiet episode again, right? Not, not much bonding, but pretty sweet bonding, I would say. <laughs> The Mayon's bed with Alto. Mm-hmm. Goddamn. Um, but yeah, also interesting stuff, right? The May knows that the student council president is very suspicious. And there was this one part. Let me check really quick. Um, it was at the beginning somewhere uh, where she is in the church thingy. Uh, there she is. And she says, that's what I'm interested in. She says, um, she says, lies, and the world's greatest scourge is she. So, um, what I could maybe imagine from this, <clears throat> what I could maybe imagine from this is maybe she has like a troubled past. Where something bad happened to a family, a village or some shit. And it was because of a demon. And maybe that demon was maybe the May. And so maybe she is pissed because of it. I guess we will see. But I think her sword also has an eye. We saw some weird eye uh, when uh, the May was talking about her. So yeah, the student council president is, is creepy as always. We don't know what's up with her. Um, she can seem nice at some points and otherwise she seems super creepy and weird. And then we saw finally the girl that controls those paper stickers 
paper thingies, talismans, whatever. I guess that's not her familiar, maybe. Maybe it is. Maybe her familiar can create those, but otherwise those papers are around her otherwise too. And they can use those to communicate. Or maybe it's just tools that she can control. And if there are enough of those, she can combine them maybe over a great distance. Which we saw when the student council fought it, maybe. Hmm. And yeah, they are all platinum. And they even killed this one priest guy that was platinum. So they seem to be very strong, right? And they have this weird hentai tentacle brain demon thingy. Whatever that is. Which they seem to work towards. Like the... It, I think it sounded like they get parts that they put into it or onto it or whatever. So whatever they make, it's some weird shit, right? And yeah, then we had like this awesome scene where we saw the student council president and Chris in underwear. And man, Chris is really stacked. <laughs> Looked good. And yeah, next episode, I guess. Oh yeah, we had also this the small flashback with um, the May, right? Of her past when she was small and there was like this destroyed city around her or whatever. And then this weird uh, nun, maybe priestess looking like hologram thingy, which we also see in the intro for a short moment. And she says what he wants to choose, like fighting for the people and justice and all that stuff. And humankind or fighting for him and basically for her, her which I think means basically the May, which is destruction. So, <clears throat> interesting, because I guess Alto is like a good boy, right? That he he wants to do good for humankind. Um, but he also wants to bond and protect the May, right? So... Based on that, it seems like he's like split in the middle, but if he has to make the choice. It, it's like, maybe he can't work for humankind and justice, but use it to help the May. But I think what would make more sense is that he wants to protect the May and takes the destruction part. And he uses that in a good way. Right? Because, I mean, technically, it said... Um, can I see what it said here? There it is. One is selfish and serves to benefit her and only her, the path of destruction. I mean, technically, if he serves her and her alone, that is the May, I guess, with destruction. I mean, if he serves her... What she wants is basically that Alto gets his dream, right? Which is like becoming like being at the top, right? So if he serves her and she wants what's best for him, then it's basically him, right? <laughs> so it basically negates each other, I would say, from what it sounds like. So it's, yeah. And the other one is, one is righteous and serves to benefit all of mankind, the path of justice. So I think what makes more sense is the destructive path, a path, right? Because he wants to protect Vermeer and wants to be Vermeer's mass and all this, that stuff. So I guess it makes more sense that he goes maybe the destruction path if he has to choose and he uses that for good, right? Would make more sense, I guess. Or maybe he can combine both because maybe Vermeer is like the destruction and he's maybe the justice. Um, so it depends how you have to make the choice or if he has to make the choice, right? I mean, we just got this now and we, it's very cryptic. We don't know how it will turn out. Um, but yeah, the whole part with the villains seems to go into a direction I don't like to see, right? It seems like that it maybe will go into the direction we just saw where the maid turned into a demon. Um... Because if they go, if they go and fight Alto and Vermeer, I guess they are not really interested in Alto. Maybe, maybe they want to recruit him, right? Because maybe they see that he has potential because he has Vermeer, or maybe they try to kill Alto. 
I mean, they can't really kill him because then Vermeer's also dead. And if they want Vermeer's power, maybe they need Alto, right? At this point, um, or maybe they just want to get rid of them because they have potential to be a threat, right? So maybe they just want to kill him. Uh, yeah, I don't like to see where this is going because I want my happy bonding time. Um, but yeah, we will see how it turns out. Um, so yeah. Interesting stuff. Next episode can be interesting. Uh, interesting. Because it can be interesting to see how this whole thing will go. Because this weird um, crystal ball thing with the flame inside, I guess it's like measuring your mana power, your magic power basically. Where it's basically you probably touch it and depending on how big the flame goes, it shows how strong you are, right? So I guess for Alto, because he has... I still don't know. Does the gold mana come from Alto or is it Vermei? I guess it's Alto, right? Would make sense with this golden eye color, right? Um, so maybe that's because he has so potent mana that it's like gold, right? So what I could see is maybe that something completely great happens that is like completely filled out and like no one else. It's completely going crazy in the crystal ball. Um, or maybe it even bursts or some shit because it's so potent and powerful. Or maybe it's so potent that... It doesn't even, like, that it looks like nothing happens at all. <laughs> That's, like, just not measurable, right? I think either all will happen. Either it's, like, completely crazy or something completely underwhelming and it looks like, and it make, makes Alto look like he's really bad. But yeah, can't wait for the next episode to see what is gonna happen. Um, and yeah, I'm definitely more interested in, still more interested in the student council president to see what's going on with her, what's her deal is. And not really interested in the villains, right? Um, and inter interested to see what happens with the magic, with the magic crystal orb thingy. But yeah, if you like what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, or comment. Let me know what you think. And I would say thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye.